studio, one of our intrepid reporters, Stephanie Bloomfield, has gone out to report on this, our first ever broadcast. Good evening. This is Stephanie Bloomfield reporting to you live from the outside of Moor Park School where, on my right in the Henderson Hall, we have set up a studio and gallery for MPTV. Behind me in the dining room, we have an audience of family and friends who will witness this unique experiment. It is believed to be the first like it to any prep school. And now, back to the studio. Gosh, that looked cold. Yes, I'm rather glad that I'm in the warm. And now, sports news. Firstly, to our cross-country correspondents who were out and about last Thursday at the Interschools cross-country competition held here at Moor Park. On Thursday, Moor Park hosted a cross-country fixture. Lots of primary schools from all around Shropshire came to take part. The competitors had a tough run. It ran through lots of different environments through fields, bogs, and got wet and muddy. The competitors went up a steep hill, which was quite slippy, and they were very tired, but still, there was a long way to go. They were still running hard, and their work had almost paid off. Some collapsed because of this hard, well thought out run. Well done, good grace. Clear in front, clear in front, please. Clear in front. Some people were glad that it ended. Next came the awards ceremony where all the medals were handed out. Everyone got a big clap for their achievement. The with eight points goes to Moor Park. Gosh, some fairly shattered runners. Yes, a really good effort from all the competitors. Now to an equally competitive battle on the rugby pitch yesterday. Yesterday, the Colts B played Hillstone and it was a hard match. Hillstone scored the first try. And they matched it with the conversion. Are we listening? Okay, secure the ball, recycle the ball as quickly as possible. Let's move it out to the guys on the, in the backs, quick as possible. Okay, take one minute guys, okay, one minute. We'll In the second off. half, Jack Jones made a breakthrough. We were scrumming well, hard, well, pushing well, them well, back. Well, well. Ed Bloomfield got flung to the ground by a high tackle. We interviewed Mr Martin about the match. It was a difficult game for us, but uh, I thought they played really well, kept going to the end. Um, the last five minutes could have gone either way, but very, very pleased. Very pleased. And an amazing tackle from Jack Jones. Well, a match winning tackle from Jack Jones. Uh, I think uh, if he'd have got away, we'd have probably lost the game. So, uh, a superb tackle at the end. But a, te a team performance, a really good team performance by everyone. What a close match. Moore Park just clinched it in the dying moments with a full time score of 19 14 to Moore Park. Now to our lovely weather girl, Lauren Chester. We saw earlier in the show it's a cold night out there, but what has the rest of the week got in store? Good evening. I'm Lauren Chester and I shall be giving you the weather for today and tomorrow. As you've seen, today has been a lovely sunny day in the north and the south of England with the highest temperature of 9 degrees. Unfortunately, towards lunchtime the sun began to fade and in the Midlands wind came from the west at 2 miles per hour. Tonight it shall drop down to 4 degrees and in the Midlands it will be quite cold and cloudy but in the northeast it will be rainy. 
By tomorrow, the wind will be down in the south and the sun will be in the Midlands. But at lunchtime, fortunately, it will come up to nine degrees and it will be warmer. By tonight, it shall become quite cold and cloudy, dropping it down to four degrees again. So wrap up warm and thank you. Good night. So we'll be wrapping up warm for the next couple of days. They're all talking about it. Recycling is the word on everyone's lips, the world over. Here at Moor Park, we're doing our bit too. We sent a crew out to see what's happening. This term at Moor Park, we have started a recycling scheme which has made us more aware that wasting paper is affecting our natural environment. Why do we recycle, Mrs Han? Well, it's quite important to control waste in the world, isn't it? And our recycling system came out of the fact that we were trying to think, what could we do? for controlling waste. Mrs Hearn, the brains behind the scheme, who you have just heard from, situate a green box in each classroom. Year 7 have been given the responsibility of emptying the boxes into the paper bank. It has been important to discard any plastic. Twice a week the boxes are emptied and when empty they are replaced. can use the paper bank too. How often do you use the recycling bin? About once a fortnight. We are glad that we are doing our bit to help the environment. Yes, not sure that I'll be hugging trees, but it's good to see the school helping the environment. We have come to the end of our first ever MPTV programme. To celebrate the event, after the show, viewers are welcome to come and look around the studio. We hope to see you there, where you can meet all the stars and have a look behind the scenes. So from us in the studio, it's good evening. Good evening.